Well, some new concerns tonight about the safety of the plastics that your kids are using. Talking about sippy cups, bottles, Tupperware, all marketed as BPA-free, which may actually contain alternatives which are still potentially dangerous to kids' health. In tonight's Your Life, Your Health, Julia Dunn breaks down the issue in a story that every parent should see. I never in a million years thought that I would need to protect my kids from plastic. Not too long ago, Shannon Bonesteel was careful to only buy BPA-free products for her two young boys. The FDA recently banning the chemical in baby bottles and children's drinking cups. We have so much to worry about as parents. This is just another thing. Now, a new study has her questioning just how safe BPA-free really is. So much that she's rid her kitchen of plastics and switched over to glass. It really upsets me because at the time I thought that I was doing the right thing. I thought that I was making good choices for my family and to think that the choices I make could actually end up hurting my kids in the long run. It's, it's really frustrating. The new research published in the journal Environmental Health Perspectives says testing found 9 out of 35 sippy cups tested were found with significant amounts of estrogenic activity, including 7 cups found with more estrogenic activity than a cup made with BPA. All nine estrogenic cups were labeled BPA-free. What we don't know, though, is that what's happening with some of the other plastics. We know that there are some of them that are more dangerous than others, but new research is coming out all the time where we're learning more and more. Dr. Diane Tenenbaum, a pediatrician with St. Peter's Health Partners, says that these estrogen-like chemicals can disrupt a child's natural hormonal development. There are lots of different theories as to what this could be doing, everything from increasing obesity issues to potentially having puberty sort of come on a little bit earlier, but the truth is we really don't know. And that's something Bone Steel finds extremely frustrating. You don't know who to trust. You don't know what's safe, what's not safe, and, and you basically have to go out and do your own research and you can't even really trust the sources. For drinks on the go, instead of a sippy cup, her boys use these glass jars. The only thing plastic is the lid. They are free of BPA, BPS, and phthalates, and they fit right into the top of a mason jar lid and just kind of screw on the jar. An alternative to glass can either be something aluminum or stainless steel, but one thing you have to remember is that with aluminum, sometimes there's a BPA resin coating that can be found on the inside. If you still have concerns about certain plastics your children are being exposed to, contact your pediatrician. In Clifton Park, Julia Dunn, CBS 6 News.